In this lecture, you're going to learn about at view child decorator in Angular and what is its use. So let's understand at view child decorator with an example. Here I have created a new project called view child and this project currently has only one app component. And if I go to the HTML file of this app component, here we have the default CSS and HTML code. So let me remove everything from here. And here, let's go ahead and let's write our own HTML. So first I'm going to create a div. Inside this div, let's have a label. And inside this label, let's specify a text. So maybe DOB for date of birth. Then after this label, let's add an input element. And the type of this input element is going to be date. Okay, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. And here you can see a new input element of type date has been added here. So here you can see this calendar symbol. And from here, you can select any particular date. All right. Now, let's go back to VS Code. And after this div, let's add another div. And inside this div, let's again add a label. And here, let's say age. And after this label, let's add an input element. And the type of this input element is going to be text. All right, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So you can see another input element of type text has been added here. Now, what I want is a user can select his date of birth from this calendar. Okay, so let's say the user is born in maybe 2003 in the month of July and let's say on 17th. Okay, so here the user has selected his date of birth. Now based on this date of birth, I want to populate this age text box. So for example, here the user has selected the date of birth as 17th July 2003. So from this date of birth, I want to get the birth here, which is 2003. And I want to subtract this birth year from the current year and the current year is 2022. So from 2022, I want to subtract this birth year and based on that, I want to calculate the age and display it inside this text box. Okay, let's see how to do that. Let's go back to VS Code and remember that we have added this HTML in the app component.html file. Okay, so the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to add a local reference variable for this input element and to create a local reference variable first we use pound sign and then we specify a name let's call it dob input in the same way let's also add a local reference variable for this age input element and let's call it age input okay let's make this i caps here let's save the changes now somehow i want to pass this input element and this input element to the app component class. Okay, so to this class. Now in the previous lecture, what we did is we used a method to pass the HTML element to the component class by passing the local reference variable to that method as its argument, right? But sometimes we might want to access the HTML element before calling a method. So let's see how to do that. For that, we can make use of view child decorator okay so for that what you need to do is first you need to create a property so here let's create a date of birth property now let's decorate this date of birth property with at view child decorator and in order to use this view child decorator we also need to import it from angular co and here we want to assign this date of birth property with a reference to this input element. So here what we are going to do is we are going to pass this local reference variable to this view child decorator like this. And since this date of birth property is going to store a reference to an HTML element, the data type of this property is going to be element ref. Okay, and in order to use this element ref, we also need to import it from Angular Co. All right, so here, since to this view child decorator, we have passed this local reference variable with this name dob input. 
and we have used this local reference on this input element this property will be assigned with a reference to this input element okay and this is the use of view child decorator it assigns a property with a reference to an html element or to a component or a directive okay in the same way let's also create another property let's call it age and to this age we want to assign this second input element okay so again what we are going to do is we are going to use at view child decorator here and to this view child decorator let's pass the local reference of this input element which is age input okay so now this age property is going to store a reference to this input element and since it is going to store a reference to an html element its data type will be element ref so in this way using this view child decorator we have access to this input element and this input element in our component class and this is the use of view child decorator using view child decorator we can also get access to a component or a directive and we will see that in a bit now let's go ahead and let's create a method which will calculate the age based on the value the user has selected in this text box all right so here let's create a method let's call it calculate age now inside this method first let's create a variable let's call it birth year okay and to get the birth here what i'm going to do is i'm going to make use of new date object and to this date object we can pass a string value and based on that string value this date object will return a date and time now the string value which we are going to pass to this date object is the value which the user has selected in this text box okay in this uh, input element in this date input element and how we will get that value well here we have access to this input element by using this date of birth property so let's first access this date of birth property so this dot date of birth or what i'm going to do is let's log this date of birth in the console okay and let's also log this age property in the console so this is just to explain you what these properties are going to store and we want to call this method whenever a blur event will happen on this input element okay so let's go to app component.html and on this input element let's handle blur event okay and when this blur event happens we want to call this calculate age method all right let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's open developer console clear everything now when we click inside this input element to select a date in that case the focus event will happen because at this point of time this input element has the focus okay now let me select a date from here so currently this input element has the focus now as soon as i click somewhere else outside of this input element in that case the blur event will happen so let me click outside of this input element and as soon as the blur event happens this method gets called and it is logging the date of birth and this age property and if you notice in the console when we are logging date of birth and age property it is logging element ref so from here you can conclude that the data type of this date of birth and this age is of type element ref now each element ref has a native element property and this native element property is the property which stores the actual html element in this case you can see that this native element property is assigned with an input element so this native element property is storing this input element okay in the same way for the second element ref we also have 
native element property and this is also storing this input element so the second native element property is storing this input element and we know that each input element has a value property so the value property of this input element is going to store the date which the user has selected here and the value property of this input element is going to store empty string that means the value which we have inside this age text box so initially it is empty string so that value will be stored in the value property of this input element right so to this date object let me uncomment this to this date object we want to pass the value which the user has selected in this date of birth text box so in this input element for that we know that this date of birth is of type element ref and this element ref has a native element property and this native element property stores the actual html element and that element is going to have a value property so this value is going to store the value which the user has selected in this input element all right and we are passing that value to this date object and this date object is going to return a new date and time based on that string value now if you want to learn more about date object then i already have a lecture on that in my javascript courses so you can go through that lecture if you don't understand uh, some of the things here all right now on this i want to get the year value so this date object is going to return a date and time and from that date and time i only want to get the value of the date of birth year for that let's use get full year method Okay, so this is going to return us the birth year. Now, I also want to get the current year. To get the current year, let's create another variable. Let's call it current year. And to get the current year, let's again use this date object. And now to this date object, we are not passing any argument. In that case, this date object will return the current date and time. And from that current date and time, I want to get the current year. For that, let's use getful year method again. All right. Now let me comment this console.log statements here and let's go ahead and let's create a age variable and to calculate the age what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this birth year from the current year. So current year minus birth year. Okay now we want to display the value of this age variable inside this text box. Okay, let me close this developer console here. So we want to display the age inside this text box. For that, we are storing that text box inside this age property. So let's get access to that age property using this variable. So this dot age. And this age is of type element ref. And just now we learned that an element ref has a native element property which stores the actual HTML element. So here this age dot native element is going to return this input element. And we want to set the value for that input element. So here on that native element, let's use the value property. And here let's set the value to the value stored in this age variable. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. And remember that we are calling this method whenever the blur event is happening. Right. Let's go to the web page. Let's select a date here, uh, a date of birth. So let's say the user is born in 1996 in the month of july and let's say date is 26 so currently the focus event has happened now as soon as i click outside of this input element blur event will happen and when the blur event will happen this text box will be populated with the year so here you can see the age has been logged as 26 so current year is 2022 if you subtract 1996 from 2022 the result will be 26 so that age has been displayed here let's select another date of birth so let's select maybe 2001 october 27 again as soon as the blur event will happen based on that date of birth it will display the age so this is the use of view child using view child we can access an html element or a component or a directive from the view template in the component class okay so here we saw how to access 
an HTML element from the view template in the component class. Now let's understand how to access a child component in the parent component class using this view child decorator. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's create a new component for that let's open vs code built-in terminal and here to create a new component let's use ng generate command and we want to generate a component and let's call this component maybe demo let's press enter and it should generate all the related files for this demo component so the files have been generated this demo folder has been created and let's go to the demo component class and inside this class, let's simply create a method. Let's call it maybe say hello. Okay. And from within this method, let's simply log a message in the console saying that hello from demo component class. All right. A simple message all right with this let's save the changes let's get the selector of this demo component and let's use it inside this app component so after this div element let's call this app demo so this app demo is a child component of this app component okay now we want to access this component in our app component class for that let's go ahead and let's create a new property let's call it maybe demo comp okay and let's decorate it with at view child decorator right now here we want to assign this demo comp property with demo component for that inside this view child let's specify the component name and the component name here is demo component and in order to use this demo component we also need to import it from demo component file okay and here we know that its data type is going to be of type demo component right so let me copy this from here let's specify it here all right now here we also need to specify another property which is going to be an anonymous object and here we need to specify a property called static and let's set it to Let's save the changes and now let's access this property in our app component.html. So let me copy this. Let's go to app component.html and here let's access this demo component. And here let's use string interpolation. Inside this string interpolation, let's access this property. Now, this property is an instance of this demo component class. And this demo component class has this say hello method. So I want to call this say hello method. So on this demo component, let's call say hello method. And just to be sure that I have typed the correct method name, I'll simply copy it and paste it here. All right, with this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So here you can see demo works is displayed because here we are using this app demo and the template view of this app demo has this paragraph demo works right now let's open the developer console here you will notice that here hello from demo component class has been logged okay so basically here we are calling this say hello method of this child component Okay, and here we have accessed a child component in our parent component class using view child decorator. So this is all about view child decorator. If you have any question, then feel free to ask it. Now, always remember that view child decorator is used to access the HTML element or the component or a directive from the view template to a component class.